good morning everyone it is uh december 20th 2021 i just wanna i don't usually give the dates like that uh, i should uh, i remember one time years ago dutch sense said you know you have to date your videos always make sure you do and i never think about it and i never do but i thought i'd put that out there today because what i want to talk about is uh, you know, keeping your eyes open this week. So, here we go. Get myself in screen a little bit there as I drive. Um, I don't, I mean, I listen to a lot of people make predictions, make prognostications, and I've been listening to a lot of the, who I would call the long-term greats, here lately uh, just now got done listening to G Edward Griffin if you don't know who he is you should look him up I mean he's been talking about what's happening ever since the 1960s he read a book called Jekyll Island which is about how the Federal Reserve ever came into existence and what most people don't know and don't understand is that the Federal Reserve is not a governmental agency the Federal Reserve is actually a private entity who basically in 1913, uh, under the guise of helping our economy, took over our finances. Um, they're just a huge part of, they're the financial arm of the globalist cabal and it's earlier stages of the modern history um, League of Nations time think of that uh, pre United Nations helped form the United Nations they're the financial arm and now that's who runs our financial system and I reiterate they're not our government they're private they're private banksters maybe you already knew that I don't know anyway um, what I wanted to talk about was, you know, watching, listening to him, him, uh, you know, speaking about the past and speaking about the future and then checking the stock futures, which, you know, the stock market, uh, we all know it's just a dog and pony show at this point. There's nothing we can't, we can't base our life and what's really gonna happen on the stock market. But I do believe that um, they will use the stock market as a way of fear and panic uh, along with all the other panic that they got going on. They, It's funny, they, they act like they panic over news that they talk about and then they use that panic to then go ahead and panic the stock market and then panic the uh, world abroad. The everyday people like us who really have nothing to do with the stock market whatsoever get affected. So, if you haven't, and like I say once again, uh, early morning, 8.30 on December 20th, 2021, the stock market futures are down approximately a thousand points right now so could be a Monday morning bloodbath but what I have been thinking is you know Christmas Eve comes on Friday and they love using special times to create chaos so I can't rule out and I once again I'm not making a prediction I don't want anybody to freak out over anything I'm saying but I cannot rule out that they wouldn't completely collapse the stock market on Christmas Eve I think Christmas Eve is a short day trading if I'm not mistaken historically I think it just trades for three to four hours um, but they could create a bloodbath in less than three to four hours that would collapse the economy come Monday morning after the 
holiday. So they create a bloodbath from say 9 to 11, 11.30 on Christmas Eve. They shut down the market early because they can do all that. Um, everybody's attention is on Christmas, Christmas Eve, getting ready, cooking, finalizing presents. Uh, some people do presents on Christmas Eve. Some people do dinners on Christmas Eve. That's how they like doing these things, is when nobody's paying attention. Even more so than what nobody pays attention on a regular basis. So, nobody's going to be paying attention on Christmas Eve. Except, I can't say nobody, I shouldn't generalize that, because there's going to be people like me, people like you, people like Gregory Manorino, G. Edward Griffin, uh, Alex Jones and his troop. So, uh, Dr. Ron Paul, that's another great. I just wanted to put this out there as a heads up to keep your eyes open on Christmas Eve. Um, by all means, don't fall asleep just because we are uh, in a time of celebration and rejoicing. Um, because that's when they really like to pour it on. So, much love to everyone. I don't know if I'll do another video before the holidays or not. I'm probably going to title this as a little bit of uh, uh, a little uh, fear monger title. It's just because I want people to see this. You know, sometimes I just ramble on and on and on. And, uh, you know, I... I I don't get a lot of views as I've said in the past but you know sometimes I say things that I feel are you know kind of important and I would want more people to see it and uh, be alert so anyway um, I hope everybody has a great week and um, keep your eyes open keep your faith strong nose to the grindstone. Much love.